Hello and welcome back to Not A Proper Classic and unboxing, not Mercedes wiring or rough running material, it's actually brake shoes for the Wheel VI. Um, you may have seen in previous videos and check out up here attempts to try and get that running without the ABS light on. Um, you need to get the correct shoes to go in. We've also got some um, brake cylinders as well um, but now let's dive in and have a look and make sure that these look like the right part but we'll find out over the weekend so cut open the tape let's see what we've got in here packaging So this fits, yeah, those there, so Daihatsu Sirions, number of Toyotas. I searched the part number um, off of Amiyama, actually, to try and make sure it would be the, the right part. Because the previous one I bought wasn't, it was too big. So it didn't fit in the drums properly. We'll just add, trying to fit, trying to fit drums is a pain in the bum. Um, I'm not sure. They might be okay. Oh, I'll find out tomorrow when we try and fit them on the car. So, fingers crossed. Wish me luck. Do you see the first part of the brake stuff check there? See so here are the brake cylinders, as it says there. Is that AR premium? A premium. They fit. Just cross over the last one. There you go. It does say right and left on them as well, which is useful. It's the right one, which is this one. There. That cross threaded, but yeah, back to the drums. So what feels like day a million on uh, Big Willy here. And what started off is just trying to change the hub, and then the brake shoes, and then the brake cylinder, has now turned into a brake pipe. So we're now going to make that bit of brake pipe there with the connectors, which will go into the new wheel cylinder, which is there. So then we can put on the new brake shoes, which are there, that means we'll have brakes. We need to bleed them because there's no brake pedal at the moment. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get all this done with no leaks, get the ABS light off, and then we're one step closer to getting this, this bad boy on the road. But yeah, brake pipes, something new. Let's give that a go. So you can see there's the new brake pipe. It's only loosely in place, nothing's tightened up because we need to change those brake shoes. So that's what we're gonna do. Take them off, put the new ones which fit on, um, and then we can try and tighten up the new bit of brake pipe, get everything all nice and tight, and then try and bleed the system. So I'll cut back in once, um, 
once we're there. So we've got a new brake cylinder in, tighten up the new copper brake line. And now, where are we? Here we are, see it there? I've got to tighten up, um, tighten up my nipple. And then we'll obviously we'll loosen it when we're ready to try and bleed the brakes. So tight, but not too tight. And it's there, so nipple in, brake line in. Now I've got to swap over all the stuff from the old shoes to the new shoes and refit again. Then we can bleed. Check back in in a minute. So after fighting with all the spring there, spring there, the spring down there, the new clips, we've got everything back on. So we're now just gonna make sure they're tight and we're gonna bleed the brakes. So I'll open it, I'll say down, the pedal will get pumped, close it up, the pedal comes up, and we'll keep going, catching the brake fluid until there's no air in the system and the pedal is nice and firm. So pump until stiff, twist the nipple until it's no, no air and liquid comes out. Back in a second. Brakes bled, nipple cap back on, drum itself back on, whack the wheel back on, and that should mean we have brakes back on this corner. We'll check to see if the ABS light goes out. Probably not, but if we've got brakes, we can then use the Toyota Techstar thing we've got in the OBD under there somewhere. And hopefully, we'll have brakes, ABS, and sooner speedo.